you'll love to see it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Flavor Town and Solar Razor, yeah. Yeah. I uh, I'm I'm glad to see Solar Razor starting with the Fords because the last mm -hmm. time I was commentating one of your lovely brackets, um, he kept starting with Raster, and it would do pretty solidly, and then he would just like he'd go down 2-0, and then he'd pick Fords Burn and he'd win the set. Yeah. He did that like five times in a row or something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are like your characters, though. So. Yeah, they are. I, uh, I I enjoy these characters greatly. That's just always really weird for me, because most of the time when I am faced with the Forest Burn, I'm just going to go Ellie and hope that I can uh, spam enough to win. So I don't really play this match very often. Whenever I do, I'm just so like baffled. It's yeah, really the awesome. thing about this matchup is like... They're, they're, you know, they're fire characters, so they're similar in a lot of ways, but um, Forsburn's one of the only characters that can just directly challenge your disjoint, because Cape is ridiculously big. Like, um, I've had so many of my, my tilts outranged by Fors F Cape, and that's just kind of how it is. So you, it's, it's something that both players need to be aware of, and they're kind of playing around in the same spacing a lot of the time. Right. And then uh, the, the edge guards are just so important because, well, the, these two characters have arguably the two worst recoveries of the game. Mm -hmm. So taking either of them to a stage where they're going to have a harder time recovering, it, it really, this match, <gasps> ooh, ooh. love to see the jumping dare. Yeah, definitely. Um, they, a, a lot of the time this matchup comes down to who is more confident in their edge guards. And how well can the Claren stop the? Ooh, they're just going at it while I'm trying to talk about this matchup. Yeah. <laughs> like a bit of an old name. I haven't uh, seen him around in feels like a little while. I uh, I I know Solar Razor because of the rivalry recess thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is the first I've seen Flavor Town. I think the last time, or like one of the last times I remember seeing Flavor Town, I think got like second or something. Game really close to winning. Okay, so they've been... not like, long after, been... he just kind of like disappeared for a while. So so they've been at like the, the top of this particular bracket before? Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's good information to know. I mean, they're kind of proving it, uh, proving it right now. I mean, Solar yeah. Razor got, I think, second in the one I watched to no one's records. Or it was either second or third, I don't remember. Uh, I want to say it was third. No, it was second, wasn't it? I, I think it, yeah, was, it was second. second. Um, and they, they were really solid, so like... For uh, for Flavor Town to have such a solid lead, is, uh, I think it says a lot right now. Yeah. Okay, going for the up tilt, but it misses. This is bad. Got uh, getting a lot of damage from these cloops. Yeah, I didn't even realize at first just how even the percents were. Now we're kind of seeing the Claire and Four's edge guards are just a little wonky. <gasps> there you go. I was uh, I was hoping to see a little bit more, um, like the that clone pop into, it could have been into a down strong, and that would have been the game right there. They're both uh, I feel flubbing a little bit, not really finding their kills when they mm -hmm. could be. I can definitely see that. Like I think even for me, like that's something I kind of struggle with, is really recognizing like when I have my opportunity to get kills, as, particularly in the forest bird matchup more than other matchups. It's a difficult thing for sure, and like I mean, the reality is with against Forsburn as Claren as well. Like a lot of your kills are just gonna be well, this character can't recover. So yeah. But uh, headed to Spirit Tree, pretty classic counter pick for, uh, for Claren in any matchup, really. Yeah. But um, I I think people don't really realize Force is great here too. I mean, it gives him all the same benefits Claren has with the uh, the platforms to help recovery a lot, and he's also just really good with uh, with hanging platforms oh. there. That that was certainly a misinput. That's so sad. Yeah, that's a really bad way to start off. Especially after, like, losing from ahead last game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's got to be uh, very feels bad. Yeah. If you're solar, you're feeling great, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, finally, just something's clicking, and you're really taking the pace of the stat into your own hands. You know, we got some good strings here from Flavortown. Yeah, we're seeing um, 
kind of the thing we see a lot with like rivals recess clearance is you see a lot of these these really small like one or two move strings and then not much else comes after that right and that's uh that's definitely the thing i wish most clarins would improve on because there's so much damage potential you're just missing out on oh lots of uh lots of up tilt we're seeing flavor town get punished for as well yeah uh-oh. I like the idea of trying to use up tilt for these combo extensions, but I think Polar Rays has been ready for almost all of them. You're missing out. As you said, it's kind of missing out a lot of damage for continuously going for it when it's not working out most of the time. It's true. It's, um... And it's also, like, Forest Burn is a character that's so good at stalling right above your head, so using it to try and catch him out of the air is, like, a mistake a lot of the time, too. Because he can just wait for you to use it if you're using it a lot and stall his his landing dare and then he just comes down after you've done the up tilt already. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that F tilt getting him out of a lot of trouble. Yeah, but all right. I'll keep not working out. But right now, I'm not really sure. <gasps> oh no. Ooh. See, this, this is um, this is kind of what I mean. I mean, we're killing at 200% as Claren. Like, you, you just gotta you gotta get better at finding these kills. Okay, that was kind of sick. Oh, what here the we fuck? go. In the low percent combos. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is a really rough spot. It is. Oh, that uh, that weak dare gonna hit Solar Razor, so you can't do anything uh, that would kill him. What's interesting is I don't think we've really seen any... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, we haven't there really you. seen any uh, parry attempts from Solar, despite the fact that Flavor is kind of like going for a lot of immediate options. And then, yeah, as soon as Solar kind of finds the opportunity for it, it works out. Yeah, I, I respect the, the not going for the parry attempts, though. Definitely. Like, I mean, it's in the long it's... run, definitely better, but... At the same yeah. time, it, sometimes it really is, like, your only option situations like that. You're right. It's just, it's terrifying to get hit by a Claren, for sure. Because um, you, you get put in all that timber stun. You you don't know what the hell they're going to do after that. I mean, there's a reason she has so many wacky confirms, you know? Yeah. But um, getting another counterpick treetop. This is another counterpick by Flavortown that I get, but also the fact that it's Forsburn makes me kind of... I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's hard. I feel like these characters kind of share a lot of the same like and dislike stages. Particularly both of them disliking Abyss so much. Sorry, I just got a text from my boss. Sorry, uh, just solo commentate without me for a second. Okay, I'll be yeah. right back. You're good. Yeah, kind of the thing, like, he was mentioning, you know, this is a weird counterpick, and honestly, at the top of my head, I can't really think of a particularly, like, solid counterpick that would only benefit Claren, because Force is going to do well in a lot of the triplats, he's going to do poorly on stages like Abyss. It was kind of hard. Oh, miss input. I'm not really sure what you're going for there. One thing I will mention is, uh, in that specific situation where you have the opponent, like, parry it below you, I'm a big fan of going for a double dare. On um, the kill percent, you can also go for like dare side B or uh, dare down strong. But double dare is a really good way to just rack up some quick damage. It's hard. There's, there's so few force players that it's also just like really hard to get practice to smash up naturally. You really have to go out of your way to get anything. Hanging back on stage to the flat. I'm not going for an up song or anything. I wonder if you could have gotten a Dacus right there. I feel like you could have. Oh, there we go. So they're just kind of getting back on the stage without really much of a challenge. I think it's cool to see too is Solar getting so much smoke up. That's been another really big factor. Is he's just had so much time to run around and put up smoke. That's kind of something where like I can tell that you play with Moonman a lot because Moonman uses smoke better than most 
forces, particularly force players out his level. Definitely one of the more distinct aspects of his play that I was like watching when he was in his class. Alright, here we go. The Rickon off. Not really any options to recover. Okay, does have time to go for the Blatch Out. That's surprising. I feel like a lot of the time we have to Blatch Out for that. It's, they have a good chance of being able to parry out, but it worked that time. Like I said, most of the time I think it's generally safer to just go for like the short hop there through the pot if they're parried. Good. Oh no, that would be it. Yeah. Parry down strong, just gonna send you. Right to the loser's bracket. At least all is set there from Solar Razor. It's kind of managing to find more and more momentum as the set went on. Supposed to be a baby dash up tilt grip. 